Hey there, I'm Sketchy Man, and it's time for us to continue our adventure in My Little Investigations. So, it turns out I have to go back to the hole and actually look at it and the stuff near it, but, you know, I assumed that when you go to a hole and you look at it immediately, you wouldn't already inspect it. Not that I have to look at it twice to actually inspect These it. look unmistakably like claw marks. Almost like someone was frantically digging here. Hmm. Let's take a closer look here. This almost looks like an X of some sort. Perhaps etched by a claw. <laughs> Interesting. suppose that these claw marks indicate that whoever was here was frantically digging, then those would seem to go together. Namely, they indicate that whoever was digging here was expecting to find something, and in all likelihood, didn't find it. Very interesting. Alright, I think the picture is starting to become clear to me. It is? I must confess that I can't quite know what you mean, my dear. Don't worry, Rarity. I think it's just about time we cleared Scootaloo's name once and for all. Let's head back and have one last chat with that leader dog. Wait, I wanted to say something. Oh yeah. Pardon me for my crappy guesses with combining things and in interrogations or whatever. But with my experience with games, the simple answers are never correct. You always have to do some convoluted answer. And that's the correct answer. Alright, dogs. I now know just what's going on here. And I sure hope you're ready. The truth is that you stole the true blue. And? So, there. The pony should present evidence. Er, uh, huh? The pony does not even know how to present evidence. Perhaps the pony is getting ahead of herself. <sighs> er, these dogs and their legal wit, where does it come from? Have they been stealing books from my library too? Ahem. I am an investigator, and you will talk about last night. Uh, please? No. Ugh, it, why? The pony is here to find a cat, not to talk about gems. Ah, he's, he's right. right. Um, right, but, um, surely you'd still like to, um, establish your innocence, right? Fine. We do not even know what the pony wants us to say. The pony has produced no evidence that would place us at the crime scene. Thousands of ponies are in your little ponyville. Why not them? Nor have you given us any idea why we would steal your little gem in the first place. We have many gems here. If the pony is done, please leave us be and go away. Stealing gems is your thing, isn't it? Confess! The pony has some evidence. Well, I'll get back to you on that. Good thing pressing info doesn't cost lives. Is there really no evidence that or says chances, it whatever. instead of a pony? I'd better take another look. Nor have you given Why not them? Wait. Wait a second. <laughs> All right, 
You want evidence? I've got some evidence. The pony is becoming boring. Just ignore them, Twilight. Just ignore them. Just a second. My legs still hurt. If you're done ignoring me, I have just one important question. Do ponies have claws anywhere? No. Then perhaps you might want to explain how this stool and Verity's boutique became ripped last night after the thief tripped over it. A creature that has claws and would want a huge sparkling gem? That seems to narrow it down a bit, don't you think? Uh... <laughs> did, did, did I get that? Mm, no. Ah, for goodness sake! The pony is covering for rather obvious other suspect! Of course. Oh. It's never that easy. You mangy mongrels! Are you telling me that you're about to accuse some holy innocent pony? Accuse pony? Yes. Accuse innocent pony? No. But the pony will please refrain from whining all the same. Calm down, Rarity. Let's hear it, dogs. I can't say I like where this is going. If they've got another suspect in mind, then I'd better do whatever I can to prove that it couldn't be whomever they've got in mind. It's Spike, right? Now's no time to lose your head, though, Twilight. Let's hear what they've got to say. Please, the pony is obviously covering for someone who she doesn't want anyone to suspect here. We refer, of course, to your little dragon friend. He has claws and a healthy appetite for gems. Gems just like the one pilfered from your prissy pony. What happened? Here's what happened. Your little dragon friend broke the window to your pony's house, then jumps in. He's not the brightest, so of course he wouldn't have cared about the noise. Once inside, he found the gem and made off with it like a dirty little thief he is. We already know he has rampaging greedy little episodes. Gems stolen, houses destroyed. This is no different from that. Wait a second. <laughs> this is no different from Spike's rampage, huh? Ah, what? No! No! It was no different than that stupid little dragon, stupid little opers! No different at all? No! Not one bit! Really? Then, would you care to explain one little thing? Ah, what? Why was the true blue the only thing that was stolen? Ah, what is the pony on about now? When Spike was all Spike want, he stole everything in sight. It didn't matter what it was, he wanted it. But in this case, nothing was stolen but the true blue. Not even these gems that had been on the ripped stool and which would have been in plain sight. If Spike was our thief here, explain that. <laughs> Why don't you? <laughs> I don't know! Ha! <laughs> Score one for Twilight. So, dogs, if it couldn't have been Spike who was responsible for the crime, that doesn't leave too many options, does it? The pony is forgetting. Ugh, forgetting what? The broken window. Um, come again? I don't, I don't like, like where this, this is going. going. The only evidence the pony has that there either was a break-in is the broken window. Your precious little suspect is the one who broke that window, of course. The pony accuses us of breaking in, but ignores the guilt of the only pony who could have been her culprit. If we stole from your precious prissy pony, then we would have needed to enter her house. But we did not. The pony has nothing to even show how we could enter, let alone how we did. Your prissy pony keeps her door locked. Wait. Where is it? I thought... You didn't add the crowbars and crap to the evidence? Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> That's a very interesting thing to know, I have to say. What? That Rarity keeps her doors locked. The other information I can see being useful, but I can't see how that information would help anything. Not unless you intended to do something with it. Stop beating around the bush, pony. Rarity, this hooked gem fragment. You've never seen it before, right? Why, no, darling. It's certainly not mine. I would never have a purpose for such an ill-shaped gemstone as that. Which means this was left here by the culprit. Or should I say culprit? This carved piece of gemstone clearly only has one purpose. It picks locks. And where did it come from? Well, I've only seen one other example of carved gemstones like this. Wait. Ah. How fit? Namely, right here. You dogs carved that furniture and those keys, and you carved this lockpick too. Then in your haste to leave, you dropped it for us to find, which was your critical mistake. Tell me, dogs, if our perpetrator came in by breaking the window, what would this be for? Uh, 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 I mean, that is... How did you know that Rarity kept her door locked? How did you know that Scootaloo had been there? The answer is simple. You were there. You stole the true blue. Well, um... <laughs> I've, I've got, got them this time. time. Not so fast, pony. Or not. You presented a nice story, pony. But nice stories do not implicate dogs. Maybe we did make a hooked gem fragment. Maybe it was stolen from us. Does the pony have evidence we use that for what she says? Ugh. No, 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 I don't. I don't. Besides, you, pony, have been ignoring a critical part of any case. Here come our favorite legal eagles again. Or in this case, legal dogs. It's simple. We have no motive. G what? You have no motive to steal a gigantic gem? <laughs> Let me explain for the slow ponies here. In case the pony hadn't noticed, we we'll have gems coming out of our ears in these caves. We've got so many gems that, as you so helpfully pointed out, we make our furniture from gems. So what if your little gem is huge? We've got other huge gems lying around. You can have your stupid gem. A gem that large couldn't even be carved properly anyway. This is it, Twilight. All you have to do is prove a motive, and you've got this in the bag. Can't let up now! In case the pony hadn't noticed, we'll have gems coming out of our ears in these pellets. We've got so many gems that, as you so helpfully pointed out, we make our furniture from gems! <sighs> so what if your little gem is huge? We've got other huge gems lying around! You can have your stupid gem! <sighs> Just a minute. Ha! You expect me to believe that your greed can be satisfied? The pony makes us repeat ourselves. We we'll have furniture carved out of gems. The pony gives us a little credit, for goodness sake. So what if your little gem is huge? We've got other huge gems lying around. You can have your stupid gem. Just a minute! How do you know that? I bet that the brightest minds in Canterlot could easily invent a way to do so. Are we coming here at the town soon? Um, no. The crap is in my town! Ugh! 
rude much? Oh. Although... Come to think of it, wouldn't larger gems be easier to cut? More to work with? <laughs> the problem is testing my patience. Move the gems to us, and whatever it is you do to you. Oddly defensive, defensive there, Mr. Dog. This is it, Twilight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the pro- need some time to think this stuff over. So, it's time for us to rest for now, and our adventure shall continue some other time.